exploring the best Linux distros for GNOME desktop. GNOME is one of the most popular and visually appealing desktop environments in the Linux world. If you love GNOME and want to try it out, several Linux distributions offer it as their default desktop. Today, we will explore 5 top GNOME based distros, highlighting their unique features, strengths and potential drawbacks to help you decide which one suits your needs best. Number 1. Fedora The Pure GNOME Experience Fedora is the go-to distribution if you want to experience GNOME exactly as its developers intended. It offers the latest stable GNOME releases shortly after they come out, making it perfect for users who want a cutting-edge software. Why choose Fedora? You get early access to new GNOME features, enhanced security with SE Linux enabled by default, and a rich set of developers' tools right out of the box. Potential Downsides Fedora primarily focuses on free and open source software. So proprietary drivers like NVIDIA requires extra setup. Also, each Fedora version is supported for only 13 months, which is less ideal for those seeking long-term stability. Now, number 2, which is Manjaro Linux, the cutting edge with Arch base. If you want to stay even more up to date, Manjaro's GNOME edition might be your best bet. Based on Arch Linux, it follows a rolling release model, delivering software updates within days of release. So why choose Manjaro? It provides excellent hardware support, easy access to the Arch user repository, which is AUR, with thousands of packages and a user-friendly graphical tools that makes Arch accessible. Potential Downsides Regular updates are necessary and some GNOME extensions may break after major version updates. It also less suited for complete Linux beginners. Now, number 3. Ubuntu GNOME refined for mainstream use Ubuntu is the most widely recognized Linux distro and uses a customized GNOME desktop. It features a persistent left-side dock desktop icons and its own app store. So why choose Ubuntu? Ubuntu offers long-term support which is LTS releases with 5 years of support, excellent hardware compatibility and a large community with abundant tutorials. It also includes App Armor for security. Now potential downsides. The default software center promotes snap packages, which can be slower and use more storage. Additionally, some users may be concerned about opt-out telemetry features. Number 4. PopOS GNOME Reimagined for Productivity PopOS, developed by System76, is based on Ubuntu but features a heavily customized GNOME design for power users. It includes a bottom dock, a pop-up app launcher, and the innovative pop shell extension for automatic window tiling. So why choose PopOS? It offers an ISO with NVIDIA drivers pre-installed, excellent keyboard-centric navigation, and a curated app store tailored for developers and creatives. It also avoids snap packages in favor of deb and flatpak formats. Now, potential downsides. The workflow differs significantly from vanilla GNOME, which might require some adjustments. It also tends to use slightly older GNOME versions to maintain stability with its custom features. Number 5. Zorin OS GNOME for new Linux users Zorin OS is an Ubuntu LTS-based distro with customized GNOME desktop designed to resemble Windows, making it ideal for users transitioning from Windows. So why choose Zorin OS? 
It provides rock solid stability, a familiar Windows like interface, and comes with the Wine pre installed to run some Windows applications. Now, potential downsides. Some attractive desktop layouts require the paid pro version, and updates often lag behind Ubuntu's LTS releases. Now, which GNOME distro should you pick? For a pure and up-to-date GNOME experience, Fedora is your best choice. If you want a long-term stability, Ubuntu LTS is ideal. For cutting-edge software and access to a vast package repository, Manjaro is excellent. If you enjoy keyboard shortcuts and productivity-focused features, PopOS stands out. For Windows users new to Linux, Zorin OS offers a smooth transition. Now, getting started. Once you select a distro, you can try it out by running it in virtual machine like VirtualBox to test the workflow without affecting your current system. When you're ready, install it on your computer for the full experience. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.